button to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon to get notifications of all my latest uploads. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is set F of PGT Mathematics Question Paper of KVS Recruitment Exam that was held on 16 December 2017. In this video, we will discuss question number 41 to question number 60. So let us start with question number 41. Question number 41 is, which of the following campaign has been recently launched by Ministry of Environment to reduce the adverse environmental conditions? Options are, Harit Diwali, Swast Diwali, Swast Diwali, Sabki Diwali, is Diwali, Harit Diwali, Swast Diwali, Mithi Diwali. So answer to this question is option number one, Harit Diwali, Swast Diwali. Union Ministry of Environment launched this campaign to reduce noise and air pollution. So option one is the correct answer. Now question number 42. Which among the following day was celebrated as the International Tiger Day in 2017? Options are September 29th, June 29th, August 29th, and July 29th. So answer to this question is July 29th. July 29th is celebrated every year as International Tiger Day and it started from 29 July 2010 after the Tiger Summit held in K. Petersburg. Now next question, question number 43. Which of the following refers to Suchitwa mission recently launched in Kerala? Options are, it is a state nodal agency of sanitation and is promoting plastic free wedding ceremonies. Option 2. It is a mission to promote crop production. Option 3. It is a state nodal agency for preserving water. Or option 4. It is a state nodal agency of protecting elephants. So let me tell you what is Suchitwa mission. Su Suchitwa mission is a society registered under the Trevankon Cochin Literally Scientific and Charitable Societies Registration Act. It is an organization of government of Kerala under the local self-government department responsible for evolving implementation strategy providing policy in the sectors of sanitation and various solid and liquid waste management issues. It provides technical inputs for sanitation and waste management projects and has been functioning as the nodal agency for assisting cities, municipalities and panchayats in sanitation and waste management aspects. So answer to this question is option number one. It is a state nodal agency of sanitation and is promoting plastic free wedding ceremonies. Let us come to question number 44. Which among the following was the theme of World Environment Day in 2017? Go Green, Connecting People to Nature, Biodiversity and Stop Pollution. Theme of World Environment Day World Environment Day is celebrated every year on 5th June and theme this year was connecting people to nature in the city and on the land from the poles to the equator. So correct answer is option number 2. Let us move to next question, question number 45. With whom of the following has Indian Council of Medical Research signed a pact for vaccine research and development recently? Options are International Vaccine Institute, National Vaccine Institute, International Institute of Vaccination or National Institute of Vaccine Immunology. So the Indian Council of Medical Research and Indian Ministry of Health linked a pact with International Vaccine Institute South Korea to collaborate on vaccine research and development. So answer to this question is option number one. That is International Vaccine Institute. Let us move to next question. Question number 46. Which of the following refers to no development zone as declared by the National Green Tribunal recently? Options are a bridge will be built over River Ganga between Haridwar and Unnao. Second, roads will be made connecting Haridwar to Unnao. Third, an area of 100 meters from the edge of Ganga between Haridwar to Unnao will be turned into green belts. Fourth, Haridwar and Unnao will be developed more. So the correct option is option number three. An area of 100 meters from the edge of Ganga between Haridwar to Unnao will be turned into green belts. According to this, it is illegal to dump any waste product within the radius of 500 meters of this zone. Let us move to next question, question number 47. Under which of the following article of constitution has the right to privacy been included as fundamental rights? Option number 1, article 20. Option number 2, article 22. Option number 3, article 18. Option number 4, article 21. So the correct answer is option number 4, article 21. 
Under this article, right to privacy has been included as fundamental rights by Supreme Court. Next question is, which of the following is the latest historic discovery? Options are, sun score and surface rotate at the same speed. Sun score rotates four times faster than its surface. Sun surface rotates four times faster than its core. Or sun score do not rotate. Recently, scientists discovered that sun score rotates four times faster than its surface. Astronomers hope that this will tell us more about the early ages of sun. So, the option number two, that is the sun score rotates four times faster than its surface is the right answer. Let us move to the next question. Question number 49. Which of the following refers to GEF grant agreement recently signed between the central government and the World Bank? Correct answer is option number two. Ecosystem Service Improvement Project. GEF grant of 24.64 billion USD dollars for ecosystem service improvement project entirely will be financed by the World Bank out of the GEF fund. The project duration is 5 years. Let us move to the next question. Which of the following anniversary of Fit India movement was celebrated in 2017? So the correct answer is 75th anniversary. 75th anniversary of Quit India movement was observed across India. This year's theme was Sankalp Se Siddhi, the attainment through resolve. Our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the mega campaign Sankalp Se Siddhi. It calls on everyone to pledge together towards clean India, poverty free India, corruption free India, terrorism free India, communalism free India or casteism free India. Let us move to the next question. Question number 51. Which of the following government is set to launch my plant app to create database on tree plantation? Options are Maharashtra government, Kerala government, Karnataka government or UP government. So the correct answer is Maharashtra government. Maharashtra government launched my plant app in July to keep data of plants of the state. Next question is question number 52. Which of the following institute has recently launched India's heaviest rocket which put G set 19 in space. So the correct answer is option number three, that is ISRO. ISRO launched communication satellite G set 19 from Satish Dhawan Space Center on 5th June 2017. Next question is which of the following app has been recently launched to help the disabled to find accessible public places? So the correct answer is option number one, billion ables. Billion Ables aims to assist people with disabilities to find accessible restaurants, tourist locations and other public places across India. Next question, question number 54. Which one of the following is the China's next generation bullet train? Correct answer to this question is option number 4. Options are Ruxing, Bixing, Boxing or Fuxing. The correct answer is option number 4, Fuxing. This train will move at the speed of 400 km per hour. It covered distance from Beijing to Shanghai in just 5 hours 45 minutes. So the correct answer is Fuxing. Next question, question number 55. In which of the following country was Greco-Roman and Freestyle Wrestling World Cup for 2017 organized? Options are India, Iran, America, Pakistan. So, the Greco-Roman and Freestyle Wrestling World Cup was the last of the set of three wrestling World Cups in 2017 which were held in Karman Shah, Iran on 16-17 February 2017. So, the correct answer is option number 2, Iran. Let us move to the next question, question number 56. Who among the following won the gold medal in the women's 20km walk at World Athletics 2017? So the women's 20 km walk at World Athletics 2017 was held on 13th August on the mall between Buckingham Palace and Admiralty Arc. This was won by Yang Jiao, option number 1 of China and the runner-up was Maria Guadalupe of Mexico. So option number 1, Yang Jiao is the correct answer. Let us move to the next question. Question number 57. Who among the following won the men's singles Cincinnati Masters Championship in 2017? So men's singles Cincinnati Masters Championship was won by G. Dimitrov. That is option number 3. Option number 3 is the correct answer. This championship was won by G. Dimitrov from Bulgaria and Australia's N. Kyrgios, that is option number 1, was the runner-up. 
So the correct answer is option number three. Let us move to the next question. Question number fifty-eight. Which of the following government is recruiting a special rhino protection force to protect one-horned rhinos? Options are Kerala government, Tamil Nadu government, Assam government, or Bengal government. So correct answer is option number three. Assam government. Assam government in first week of July advertised to recruit 90 youth for this purpose. They made a special force named Rhino Protection Force to protect one on rhinos. This force is laced with arms and ammunition. So the correct answer is option 3 that is Assam government. Let us move to question number 59. Which of the following city hosted the Senior Asian Wrestling Championship 2017? Options are Sarajevo, Budapest, Belgrade or New Delhi? Correct answer to this question is option number 4 that is New Delhi. This year Senior Asian Wrestling Championship 2017 was held in New Delhi's Indira Gandhi Arena from May 10th to May 14th. This championship was topped by Japan by 8 golds. India in this championship was on number 5 with 1 gold. Next question, question number 60. Which of the following refers to the recently launched Sagarwani? Options are option number 1 an integrated information dissemination system related to education option 2 an integrated information dissemination system related to ocean alerts number 3 an integrated information dissemination system related to industries or an integrated information dissemination system related to professional skill development So let me tell you about Sagarwani. Sagarwani is an app launched by Dr. Harshvardhan on the occasion of Foundation Day of Ministry of Earth Sciences. This app gives information related to oceans, high wave alerts and an early warning on tsunami. So option number 2 is the correct answer. It is an integrated information dissemination system related to ocean alerts. That's all in this video. I hope you liked it. Give this a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching